chasing the police every single day. If you marry Charlotte County Sheriff Bill Prummel daughter Kate Lynn Prummel and get her pregnant, you will not be drug tested or alcohol tested. After you smash a police car for possibly looking at porno on the computer and talking on the radio and texting all at the same time. What happens when one deputy rear ends another? No ticket issued for February 2nd crash any discipline would be handled internally. By an Esker. Staff writer. No tickets were issued when a Charlotte County Sheriff's Office deputy rear-ended another patrol vehicle on February 2nd. Deputy Peter DiPiazza said he glanced to the right for a brief moment as he passed the intersection of Wilmington Boulevard on South McCall Road. When he looked up, he didn't realize a Marine Patrol truck was stopped for a red light in front of him. He slammed on his brakes and attempted to steer to the right, but was unable to avoid a collision, according to an incident report. Deputy First Class Richard Carley said he was stopped at the red light at Winchester Boulevard when his vehicle See crash, 8A Crash From page 1A Was jolted from behind. He then realized his vehicle had been rear-ended by another CCSO vehicle, a patrol SUV. Neither deputy was injured but both patrol cars sustained damage. According to the report, Carly's vehicle sustained moderate damage estimated at $2,000 to $3,000. Dipiazza's vehicle sustained severe, disabling left front end damage, estimated to exceeded $10,000. Prior to the crash, Dipiazza believed he was traveling between 45 miles per hour and 55 miles per hour. The crash location happened in a 45 miles per hour zone, which changed from 55 miles per hour approximately 700 feet prior to the crash location, the report stated. Dipiazza's GPS showed he was traveling 56 miles per hour in a 55 miles per hour zone, then 34 miles per hour in a 45 miles per hour zone just before the crash. He did not receive a ticket for failing to stop at the traffic signal. It will be handled internally through the crash review board, said CCSO spokesperson Claudette Bennett. At that time they will determine if and what discipline is deemed necessary. Bennett said the process had not been completed as of Friday, and it could take a few weeks. Email, and dot esker at your soon. Com. Di Piazza. Hey, Sheriff County. This is Sheriff County Cop Watch. I am using any video here with under fair use. If you uh, have criticism, reporting, teaching, etc., and please donate. I do not make money from YouTube, and uh, there are different ways to donate in the uh, video links. Thanks.